Chad Wilson here with All Eyes DB Camp. What are we talking about today? We're talking about run force. Well, you coach DB, so why are we talking about this? Well, I was also a defensive coordinator, and part of that is being able to teach your linebackers how to react to run the proper way. You shut down the run game, now we can get the offense to passing the football. And that's when everybody starts to have fun. One of my pet peeves in watching defenses operate is when the linebackers don't work in conjunction with each other in trying to stop a run play. It's when a linebacker turns it into a solo mission and doesn't really play according to where his help is. And that hurts everyone. So an example of what I'm talking about is this. Um, in this particular example, we've got three linebackers in the box. There's a Sam backer, who's to the strong side of the offense's formation. The Mike backer, who's in the middle, that's our middle linebacker, and there's a weak side linebacker, that's, uh, that's the will backer, that's towards the weak side of the formation. So in this example, let's say we've got a running play that heads to the strong side of the formation, all right? And let's say right here, I'm just gonna, that little box right there, that's gonna be, let's just call it a guard. Let's say the guard pulls around on this play and he's coming to block. Now, this sandbacker has help inside with the Mike backer and the Will backer. But the sandbacker decides he's going to turn it into a solo mission and come underneath this block like that to try and make this play on the running back. All right? Any good running back will cut outside of this, cut outside of that block, and make his way to the sidelines where there's more room. And this linebacker now has essentially cut himself off from the play. The Mike backer who might have been pursuing and the Will backer who's, who's pursuing on this play has also been cut off by this solo mission that the Sam backer went on. By going inside of this play, he allowed the running back to get out here where there's space, where there are less guys. There's probably a corner being tied up uh, on a block with a wide receiver, and you allow this running back to get into the alley, all right, going on this solo mission. So what should he have done on that particular play? This is how you work together with uh, your, the rest of the defenders and especially your linebackers to be successful against run play. So let's draw that situation up again. Our Mike, our Sam, uh, our Will backer, here's our QB, and here's our running back. And again, we're getting a strong side run play, strong side run play. And this is what I taught my linebackers uh, when we were defending run, okay? On any run play, when you've got three guys in the box, which will often happen, um, you have, when the play comes to your side, okay, this near side guy, the play, the, the linebacker lined up to the side that the play is coming to is called the contain man, okay? You are the contain man. The moment the run starts this way and you've got two other linebackers in the box with you, you are the contain man, all right? And now this guy in the middle is what I would call crush. Okay, and I'll explain that to you in a minute. But he's crush. And the guy away from the play is the cutback guy. All right? So we've got contain, crush, cutback. Play's coming to your side, you're contained. All right? The guy in the middle is crush, backside guy's cutback. So how does that work? All right? Let's draw our guard up again. All right? big box right there. That's our guard. So let's say on this particular play again, guard is coming around the block. If you are the Sam and you know you're the contain man, you cannot go underneath this block, okay? You can't go in there. You know you're contained. Play comes to you, you know you're the contain man, all right? So because you know you're the contain man, you must, must get across this guard's face to force this play back inside, okay? Force this play back inside. Now, you're a linebacker. You don't go and be soft on it and allow this guard to shove you all the way out here and cause a big lane in this area for the, the uh, running back to cut up into. You come in here, you take that play on, you get across that guard's face, you drop that inside shoulder really, really hard and, and create what we know as a hard edge. All right? You stuff this right here. Force this running back to either run into that guard's back or come back in here. You want him to cut it back in there. All right. So now what's the crush's job? The moment the play heads this way, this way, this way, the middle linebacker in this scenario knows he's crushed. What's that mean? 
he can go balls to the wall and he's going to put his helmet and shoulder pads right on that running back, okay? His job is simple, all right? And that's why he's a Mike Backer. He's probably the hardest hitter. He's got the most weight on him. His job is to come balls to the wall and go put his helmet and shoulder pads on that running back. Now, if you come inside, all right, if you give up contain and that running back's allowed to go out this way, he can't do his job. We don't want the Mike Backer running side uh, sideline to sideline. Okay, that's not really what his job is. There are some middle linebackers that are tremendous athletes that can go run around and make plays like that. By and large, though, middle linebackers aren't built for that, okay? They're tough guys, they're big, and they do a lot of their best work inside of the hashes. Let's not have the Mike Backer running outside of the hash to go make plays. So Sam Backer, you're contained, you come in, get across the block, you drop your shoulder to the ground, force this guy back in this way, and now the middle linebacker can come in there and do his job, which is crush. Let's say it's a really exceptional running back and he starts on this path. He sees things clogged up here. He darts his eyes inside. He sees that middle linebacker coming like all hell to smash him in the face and he can cut it all the way back in here. Let's say he puts his foot in the ground and gets across that middle linebacker's face. Now, that's where contain man comes in, okay? So contain, you know you're contained. That's the will backer on this particular play because the play went to the strong side. The uh, cutback guy, Will Backer, you know your cutback. So as you see this play go to the strong side, your path is not this to run over there. That's not your path. That's not how that's supposed to go. You know you're responsible for cutback. If you take this path right here and the running back puts his foot in the ground and comes back this way, you're going to get trapped over here. And now you've opened up all this area for that running back to cut it all the way back and get a big play. All right? So that's not your path because you know the play went away from you. You know your cutback, okay? Contain did his job. He shut the play down, didn't allow it to get outside. The crush is doing his job. He's coming in there to, to smash him. And maybe there was a little bit of fault right there. He wasn't able to put his helmet on the guy. Or again, the running back is really exceptional, and he got all the way here. So you know your cutback. You travel like this. You stay behind that play. You're not trying to out, you're not trying to outrun this running back to that sideline. You've got guys over here doing their job. You're not trying to beat the running back over here to the sidelines, okay? You stay behind the play, stay behind the play. So if the running back is here, you're here. If he gets out here, you're here. You stay behind the play, okay? So in our scenario, you're staying behind the play. Running back gets to about here. You're right here. He puts his foot in the ground and he darts it back this way. Since you're behind the play, now you can come in and you make that tackle and you're gonna make an impact right here, all right? That's how you defend the run when you are, when you've got linebackers in there. You gotta know where your help is, and the linebackers have to work as a unit. Well, what happens if there's only one linebacker in the box, which will happen sometimes based on uh, what kind of defense you're running or the offense's alignment. Sometimes you can't have all three linebackers in the box. Sometimes they spread you out and that means now um, some linebackers have to leave the box, okay? So let's have a scenario now where maybe it's a 3-4 defense and there's a Will linebacker and there's a Mike linebacker and everyone else is outside of the box. So let's draw our quarterback again. Let's have our running back right here. So now we don't have three guys, so something's going to be missing, all right? In the last scenario where we had three running backs, there was a contained guy, there was a crush guy, and there was a cutback guy. So one of those guys is going to be missing, all right? Here's the guy that's going to be missing, all right? We had before, again, we had contain, we had crush, and we had cutback in our last scenario, okay? That's when we had three guys. Now, with two guys, one of these guys is going to be missing, and that's going to be this crush guy, okay? Now, we're not gonna have crush. What we are gonna have is contain and cut back. And let me show you how that works. That does not mean now that we're not aggressive. We still are aggressive, but it has to be a little bit more controlled aggression. So, again, let's say our running play starts to the strong side of the formation, okay? Middle linebacker who's used to being the crush guy in, a, in when there's three linebackers in the box, now it has to be a little bit more cautious as he approaches the play, but still aggressive, 
Okay, so middle linebacker, you are now the contained guy. Okay, you're now the contained guy. So as this running back heads in this direction, you must now make your effort to approach this running back from this angle. And, and, and I hope you can see that here. You're going to come and you're trying to get to this guy's outside shoulder and make the tackle from the outside coming in, from the outside coming in. Why am I doing that? Because I know I've got a guy in here that's going to help me in the event that I miss that tackle or he cuts it back inside. If I miss this tackle, I want to miss it from the outside coming in. All right. So let me just run this back. Let's draw our guard in our box, our big box. All right, this guard, I'm just using it as a play side guard. It could be anyone that's coming around this way, um, trying to make a block on a linebacker in this particular play. So let's say our guard is coming out here and he's coming to make this block, all right? As you approach the play as a middle linebacker, you have to be aware that it's just me and another guy in this box, okay? So I have to approach this run play and the blocking that's happening on this run play in the proper way, okay? So here's what I don't do. I know I've got help inside. I can't go and duck up under this. That's not what you do when you're contained, okay? You don't take an inside out path to the ball when you're the contained guy, all right? So if I were to do this, this guard is gonna pin me in here, running back will put his foot in the ground, he'll get in this alley, and now he's in the secondary. Now we're asking a corner to get off of a block and make a play, or safety to come from deep to come and make a play. And that's really not the scenario that we want to have. So let's rub that out real quick and go back to the beginning and let's talk about how this should be done the right way. Okay, again, our guard is coming out here to try and block. Okay, his job is to get to the linebacker's outside shoulder and pin him so that the running back can get outside and make that play um, and get into the alley and get a big play out of it. So as the middle linebacker, you know your job is contained when a play comes in your direction. There's only two of you in the box. You've got to get across this guard's face, just like the Sam had to do in our scenario when we only had three linebackers. Get across his face and drop that sh inside shoulder and that foot in the ground and clog this up, all right? If this running back wants to go this way, he's got to run through his guard's back or he eventually has to run through you. He's not really going to want to do that, so he's going to put his foot in the ground and try and cut it back in here. And now that's where our cutback guy, the will linebacker, gets activated, okay? So remember in the last scenario where we had three uh, linebackers in the box and you were playing uh, cutback, all right, which is this now, you uh, were not trying to race over here and get ahead of that running back to the play side that he's going to. You stay behind the play. So you're here, you're here, you're operating in that in this direction, but you're not trying to overrun him. As the running back moves here, you're here. As he gets here, you're here. You're not to be over here. You're not to be running behind your middle linebacker who's playing contain, and then you end up outside of them. And if this running back cuts back this way, nobody's home and they get a big play out of it. You gotta trust your help, know where your help is, trust your help. So as this middle linebacker comes and he plays contain and clogs everything up and he cuts it back in here, because you're traveling behind the play, you will see that and you will come and make your tackle right there, okay? So as he cuts it back in there, you're there to make that tackle, all right? And that's how you work in conjunction with your help. This is how you work as a tandem uh, when there's a run play, all right? So again, that's one of my pet peeves is watching um, defenses operate and the linebackers don't work together to make the tackle on the play, okay? So just a quick, another quick scenario, Mike, Sam, Will, you get a running back. So I'm going to cut the whole quarterback out of this. Just make this simple. It's a wide sweeping play like this. Same deal. This is contain. That's my contain man. This is my crush man. I had a little trouble spelling that one there. Cut back. All right. Same scenario. Get out here, get out in front of it, try and contain it. That means taking on any blocks with your inside shoulder, forcing it back inside. Middle linebacker, you get to make a beeline to that guy, go try and knock his head off, cut that guy. You kind of slow play it, waiting for the cutback, waiting for it to come back. Well, what if it ends up going in the other direction? Because I just showed you all strong side 
run plays. Nothing changes. Everything just flip-flops, okay? So let's say the play came to the weak side. Running back's coming this way. Well, now the roles uh, get reversed. This guy is now contained. He ends up being the contained man. This guy on the back side, and let me draw him in again, Sam, Mike, Will, he's now cut back. All right, our Sam would now end up being the cutback guy on this play. So the Will backer gets out here. He contains this run play, and that includes taking on any blocks that might be coming at him. He drops that inside shoulder. He forces it back in here to the Mike backer who's coming, and uh, he's coming like a bat out of hell to put his helmet and shoulder pads on this guy and make it a really bad deal for him. All right, if the play is cut, play, the uh, running back cuts it back inside right here, the Sam backer who was now cut back, all right, is slow playing it, slow playing it, slow playing, waiting for that moment when this guy decides that's too much heat on the front side of the play. And when the running back cuts it back inside, he's there to make the play. All right, very simple, but it seems to be hard for some people to, you know, operate like this. You can't just be out there. You have to know where your help is. That's very important playing defense. And this is uh, one of the important things that goes on um, when we're out there playing defense. The linebackers have to work in conjunction with each other. So um, always remember this. And if your coach is out there, there's a real simple way to teach your guys uh, how they need to attack run plays. When it's three of you in the box, in, uh, three of you in the box, there are three different uh, sets of responsibilities for you guys. Front side guy is the contain guy. Middle guy is the crush guy. Backside guy is your cutback guy. And that goes whether it goes weak side, strong side. The roles just. Um, reverse. They just flip to the other side. But you got to be able to work together. Know where your help is. So let's take a look at a few examples on tape. This first one's going to be our two linebackers in the box scenario. So we're going to be missing, in this scenario, we're going to be missing a crush guy. And we're just going to have a contain and a cutback guy. But nevertheless, this is the Seahawks again against Arizona. And they do this very, very well. You're going to see it operating on tape here. Motion brings two linebackers into the box. Actually, you get a third uh, with with this walk up right here, but that's gonna be kind of insignificant on this particular play um, as we as we let it go here. But the play heads, the play is coming weak side, all right? So this is gonna be our contain man. This is gonna be our cutback man. And you're gonna watch them work in tandem on this particular play. Watch our contain man, 54, Bobby Wagner, come in and trust his guy on the inside, okay? You see him approach, it's this guy right here. You're gonna see him approach the line of scrimmage, move into cutback mode. He sees the action coming his way and immediately he moves <clears throat> into a position to cut the play off. So he knows he's contained, all right? He knows he's got a man to the right of him. He's not gonna worry about this turning up in here so much, okay? He knows he's got this man right here flowing to the inside of him. So he's gonna trust him to do his job. And because he trusts him, he's gonna do his job, which is cut this playoff from getting out here where it could get pretty dangerous, okay? Running it back real quick. He sees it coming, play side coming at him, goes to cut it off. So what about our cutback man, which is this guy right here? Watch him work as he stays behind the play, all right? he's. You could see him, his first step's aggressive, and then he's gathering up as he sees the running back square his shoulders to the line of scrimmage. But look at where he's staying. He's, all right, he's staying behind this play. He doesn't go running over here where Bobby Wagner is, all right? Can't have these two guys right here in the hole and then open up a cutback lane. I'm the cutback linebacker, so he's gonna do his job. Play goes away from him. He knows right now I'm cutback, hangs behind, hangs behind. When that cutback lane opens up because there's a big wall and a mass of humanity right here, he is right there to step right back into that cutback lane and cut the playoff from making major yards. This is team defense. These, this is linebackers working as a tandem, as a unit to stop the run. All right, that's it right there in a nutshell. Great example of it right there. Seattle Seahawks, they play defense and uh, it's not by accident. All right, this is going to be a perfect example of three linebackers in the, bo in the box. So we're going to get a contain, we're going to get a crush, and we're going to get a cutback on this one. Here's the deal. This is our Sam backer. This is our Mike. This is our Will in this scenario. But here's what's going to happen. The play's not going to go to the strong side. The play's going to come weak side. So the roles are going to get reversed. 
This is going to be your contain, man. This will be crush, and then this will be cut back. And we're going to get a chance to see all of this working in in unison. We're going to get we're going to show you what it looks like when the unit works together. All right, so the play starts. It's going to go weak side. Number thirty is now. Uh, our will backer is going to be the contain man. Look at him fighting to get out ahead of this play because he is the contain man. So he's out ahead of the play and he's going to flash in front of this running back. And, you know, that's going to that's going to give the running back pause. He knows he can't get outside. He's going to start looking to get back inside. You did notice that there was a crackback block that was attempted on our contain man here. It did not hit home due in large part because he was hustling to get out there to his responsibility. So our contain man's out in front of the play, flashes in front of the running back. So now the running back's gonna look inside. Let's run this back and let's look at our crush man, which is the Mike linebacker right here. Let's watch him. He knows he's got a man on either side of him so he can be ultra aggressive and go put his helmet and shoulder pads on this running back. However, on his way there, backside guard gets off on him and then the crack box that was missed on the contain man is now getting in on our crush man, which is the Mike Backer. So now he's fighting off two blocks and then an eventual third block. And we've got a mass wall of humanity right here. Uh, and so even though our crush man is being met by three blockers, there's no open lane right there for the running back to get through. So when he looks inside, he's going to have to look all the way back across and that's when our cutback guy comes into play so let's take a look at the cutback guy on this particular play and that's number 54 bobby wagner as the play goes along as you can see he's in no hurry to get out here and get in front he's not going to be selfish and go running all the way over here to be a one-man show and try and make the play by himself he works within the unit of linebackers and so he stays behind the play, knowing and trusting that his guys are going to get the job done. So Contain Man does his job. Crush is doing his job, even though he's got a bunch of guys blocking him. Just by sucking up two, three blocks, he's getting his job done. So the only thing left now for this running back is this very nice, juicy, open cutback lane that's wide. You see how wide that is? Anyone could run through that. However, appearing in that is going to be our cutback guy who's doing his job. There he is right there. Stayed behind the play, trailed it, trailed it, trailed it. Contain man did his job, crush man did his job, and here's now our cutback guy appearing in that big old lane to tell this running back it's not going to happen today. And so when the running back turns up in there, he sees, he sees the cutback man there, and then he has to turn it right back up the middle, and our cutback man gets in on the play, makes it. That's a three-yard gain. If this cutback man is not in this hole, let's say he was overzealous and he wanted to go make all the plays by himself and he ended up over here, look at the wide lane that David Johnson, who's a very good running back, has to cut through. If he gets through this lane and here, we're talking about a very big play, most likely a 55-yard touchdown on this one. So this is a perfect example of running backs working as a unit. Contain man, crush man, cutback man. Awesome job. Seattle Seahawks get it done. Okay, so now that we've shown you the right way to do things, let me show you what happens when you don't work in tandem and you don't have the proper teamwork as linebackers in the run game. And this comes from the same game. It's the Seahawks and the Cardinals, but it's the Cardinals this time, not the Seahawks. And you're going to get a chance to see how not working in conjunction with each other as a tandem, as a unit, as linebackers can have very drastic uh, consequences for you on defense. So on this particular play, we've got a situation where there are two men in the box. So again, we don't have a crush guy. We do have a contain guy and a cutback guy. So on the snap, um, first of all, let's identify our guys. Here's what's going to happen in the play. The play is going to come to uh, the play is going to end up coming to this side. This looks to be the weak side of the formation. So that's going to put this guy as the contain guy, and this is going to be your cutback guy on this play so the ball is snapped and run play and the flow starts to flow to the weak side and right away you're going to see our contain guy heading to do his job he's going to do his job on this one he heads to cut this off as he sees it straightening up he's in contained position albeit rather soft as he's getting handled by this block here 
So even though he's in position, I'm not sure he would have been able to be a factor had the running back decided to come and bring it all the way this way. Nevertheless, let's just give him credit for being in position. Here's our cutback guy, and that's where the problem is going to happen on this particular play. Contain guy is relatively in position, but let's take a look at our cutback guy. Flows a little too hard, and when you should be behind the play, he should be behind the play, he's indeed sort of head up with this guy. And that makes this guy's job right here a whole lot easier, as you're going to see as I run it back. You're going to see when overrunning the play makes it a little bit harder for or makes it easy for this guy to do his job. So this tight end is going to end up getting into a really good position to cut this off because this guy right here, who's the cutback guy, was a little too eager to go in this direction. And we're going to see what the consequences of that are. So here he is. He's just about getting even. Now he gets cut off with this block. We combine that with the missed tackle by the guy coming off the edge right here. And now this cutback lane is open. This linebacker, if he's doing this guy right here, if he's doing his job right, should be in this area right here, waiting for the cutback, as you saw in the previous examples. He's not there. So what happens? Cutback lane is open. Running backs through. That's five yards. That's 10 yards before the first attempt at contact. There's a missed tackle. So now we've got 15, 17, 18 yards on the play because we didn't work properly in tandem. We had our contain, so to speak, but we lost our cutback. And we didn't work as a tandem, and it cost the defense 18 yards. You've got to drill this into your head if you're a player. You've got to drill it home to your players if you're a coach. You've got to teach your linebackers to know where their help are, where their help is, and work as a unit to stop run plays and get the footballs thrown now in the air. Let's get them, turn them one-dimensional and start getting passes into the air. Now we can get some balls in the air and we can get some interceptions. Chad Wilson, All Eyes, DB Camp, thanks for watching. Hey guys, and if you enjoyed this video, like the video and please subscribe to my channel, very important. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Appreciate you guys watching once again. All eyes, DB Camp, consistency breeds results.